Jessie here and welcome to week five of our Blogilates challenges. This week is called the week of hundreds. Every day for the next seven days, you're going to be performing one move a hundred times within a 24 hour period. So that means within the whole week, you'll actually be doing 700 reps of something. Here you go. Monday, you're going to start out with the Pilates 100, of course, so legs and tabletop, inhale, exhale, lifting up your chest, you're going to squeeze your abs, and you're going to inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Make sure everything is really tight right here, keeping everything up here still. You're pumping from your upper arms, so you're not flapping, okay? And you're going to do this a hundred times to make it more challenging. Legs all the way up towards the sky, and if you're super advanced, Go ahead and bring those legs out to a 45 as you pump those arms a hundred times. Happy Monday! Tuesday, give me calf raises. It's time to build those sexy runner's calves. Wednesday, we have squat pulses. Keep your chest forward, back nice and flat, booty all the way back as if you're sitting in a chair, and pulse it out 100 times. This is for your butt and your quads, all lower body. You're going to hate me so much on Thursday, but you know you'll love it. Legs out or on into your knees, 100 push-ups. You can do this in one set of 100 or 10 sets of 10. Whatever you do, you must finish 100 push-ups on Thursday. Back to those abs on Friday. Hands behind the nape of your neck. Squeeze those heels together, 100 leg lifts. You're going to lower down with control. Inhale, exhale, lift it all the way up. Making sure your belly button is nice and tight. If you have any lower back problems or neck problems, feel free to keep your head down and hands underneath your butt. If you're a beginner, you don't have to go all the way down. If you're advanced, obviously, take it to parallel. Saturday, we have a familiar move that we're going to take to the next level. So what I want you to do is take a small piece of paper. This is an 8.5 by 11 that I folded into four. And I actually want you to place it on your elbow, okay? Um, it's kind of weird trying to get this paper to stay, but I want you to clamp it on, okay? Just in your elbow part and you're going to hold your hands together and all I want you to do is lift, lift, lift and do not drop that paper. Pretend it's your passport and you have to go home and if you drop it into the Pacific Ocean, you're done. You can't go home so do not drop it. Come on, do this with a mighty force. And finally, Sunday, we're going to go ahead and come into an eagle crunch. We want you to bring your legs together twisted. If you can't do that, go ahead and place them um, right on top of each other. Same thing with the arms. Eagle arms, one elbow under and over. Clamp your hands. A hundred times, we're going to bring the knee to the elbow, the elbow to the knee. It's just like a double crunch, so I actually want you to bring your tailbone up and bring your shoulder blades up. This is going to hit the center of your core in a great way to end our week with the bang. So guys, that was your challenge for the week. You have one move for the next seven days. Each move will be performed a hundred times within that 24 hour period. Now, once you're done with the move, I need you to come onto Facebook and let the whole Blog Pilates community know that you're done. And then we'll like it, we'll comment, and we'll really build some nice camaraderie within our community and a great way for you to make new friends from all over the world. So that is your challenge for the week. And please, please don't leave me on Thursday. 